Good morning, student. In today's class, we will see about a basic concept of the group 13 elements. As we have studied in the previous video about the inert pair effect, after we have discussed about oxidation state and all. So, in this group 13 elements, we have studied that it consists of five important elements that are boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, and thallium. So these five elements are the uh, group 13 elements consists of five elements and this non-metals, this boron is a non-metals, it outermost electronic is filled with 2s2, 2p1 and this aluminum deuterium is a metals, these are the five uh, metal elements, this 3s2, 3p1, 4s2, 4p1 Kelem in them is 5s2, 5p1, and Kelem is 6s2, 6p1. So, in oxidation state, if you move from top to bottom in the periodic tables of the group 13 element from bottom to Kelem, on going down the group, the oxidation state decreases. And the plus 1 oxidation state is most stable as compared to plus 3 oxidation state. And in almost all the Group 13 elements, if you see, it is composed of, uh, it has a NS2, NP1, uh, NP1 configuration. So this NS2, it do not participate in the bond formations and remain inert. Due to that, it form a inert pair effect. Whereas NP1, it only involved in the bonding. Because of that, in case of TL also, TL plus 1 will be the most stable uh, oxidation state. Okay, so the number two is a uh, radius. I'm going down from top to bottom in the boron. This uh, the size of the atom increase from boron to thallium. The expected was boron is less aluminum, gallium, indium, and thallium. But in actual sense, you get boron and gallium will be the second most it increased aluminum, indium, and thallium because gallium is complete filled three D ten electronic configurations. Ionization enthalpy also on going down the group, the ionization enthalpy increases from boron to thallium. So when the electron moves from top to bottom, due to the increase of the electronic configurations and size of size increase, the, the Sildin effect decreases. So due to poor Sildin effect, it leads into the more attraction in the valence cell and the nucleus. So the expected was boron, then aluminum gallium, indium, and thallium, but in actual sense, we get boron, gallium, aluminum, thallium, and indium, because this gallium and the indium, uh, thallium, it is completely filled, yes. It is 3D10, and thallium is 3D14, yes. So these are the trace important uh, physical properties of the group 13 elements and just for your knowledge in almost all the all the group 13 elements that is from boron boron aluminum gallium indium and thallium all these group 13 elements it form a oxide hydride and halide oxide formation when Metals, all these group 13 elements react with oxygen, it form a metal oxide, general M2O2, where M, M can be as uh, these uh, metals, right, uh, group 13 elements. So, on reaction with the oxygen, when boron is, re four molecules of boron, so let me write here, the general reaction should be E plus or M. M, M, uh, 2M, let me write here, 2M plus O2, you get the M2, yes, M2 or 3, M2 or 3, this is just for your, this M can be of any of these uh, group 13 elements. So when boron react 
with the oxygen you get the boron trioxide aluminum react with this oxygen aluminum dioxide but here if you see in the group 13 elements not not is when the size when size increase because on going down from boron to talent the size will increase reactivity also increase that you have to keep in mind when the size increase reactivity also increase but this boron is not that much reactive boron is not not reactive in nature boron is not reactive in nature so this aluminum this is this aluminum when react with the oxygen when react with oxygen you get the Al2O3 aluminum trioxide when boron react with the oxygen you get P2O3 trioxide so these are the two important reactions so in other compound also when react with P2O3 P2O3 Al2O3 you will get Kelim also O3 O3 you will get Dl2 O3 so all these compound react with oxygen you get a different compound so this P2 O3 is a acidic in nature it is an acidic aluminum is empoteric in nature empoteric all these three are basic so this is these are the chemical properties of uh, oxide formations in the group 13 elements oxide okay so these are the five important boric uh, oxide that we get on reaction with the when this group 13 elements reaction with the oxygens so this but here this is important you have to keep in mind just for your examples p2 o3 when react with the water on heating you get the h3 po3 so this this is called boric acid boric acid later on you will be you will be discussing on this that's why I'm just writing so you have to notice when this boron trioxide on reaction with the uh, water it form a boric acid later on we will be discussing about the boric acid so this is how the uh, group 13 elements form the oxide compound okay and another compound is you have a uh, uh, hydride 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 formations. Yes, hydride formations. So, number two is a uh, hydride, or you can let me or halide or hydride. Let's discuss about the hydride, right? Hydride, hydride. Okay, hydride. When when the boron. Uh, Oh. Let's see her light. Okay. Okay, hydrate. It's it's written here. Okay. So all these group thirteen elements, boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, and thallium, it it forms a hydrate. Right? Group thirteen elements, almost all the group thirteen elements on reaction on reaction with the hydrogen it form a hydride so three important compounds you, you get so let's discuss about this boron boron form a <coughs> two type of hydrides that is a boron boron that is the general formula is p2h6 p4 h10 these are some examples so when boron boron forms a numbers of hydride its general formula is pn hn plus 4 pn hn plus 6 so this is diporin tetraporin and all these things you will get 
So the, the compounds of boron forms a hydride of boron are called boron. When boron react with hydrogen, you get the boron porins, right? P O R A N E S porins. Examples is P two H five, P two H six, P four H ten, etc. So the compound containing a special type of bond inside this uh, boron are called Maldives center bonds. The simplest among the boron that is when boron on reaction with the hydrogen, you get the uh, two type. Type boron, you will get the P2H4. This is just the examples, right? So when boron reaction with hydrogen, you get the uh, type boron. So this is the one of the very important compounds. So this type boron we will be discussing later on. Okay. So one type of boron, boron reaction with hydrogen to, to form a boron. Example is type boron, tetra boron, etc. Okay. Aluminium also when aluminium react. When aluminum react with the uh, hydrogen, it forms a lithium hydride, right? Aluminum forms only one type of hydride that is called ALH4. Let me write in the forms of ALH4N. It is a colorless solid, insoluble in water, right? So with lithium hydride, when hydride of porons, aluminum, gallium forms a complex hydride. This hydride can then PS4 tetrahydride ions. You can just go through it. These are some examples. So you have to keep in mind aluminum form aluminum hydride ALH4 uh, H3 TR colorless solid. Okay. This is very important halide formations. Halide. All type of group 13 elements forms halide. Halide means it is a group 17 elements, right? Group 17 elements, you have a halide. Halide are, let's say it is X. That is a fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and all. These are the halide. So when this boron, when this boron react with the halide, halide, you get the PX3. Whereas this X can be X can be halogen. Halogen, any of this halogen, any of this halogen you will get. So the compound like PF3, compound like uh, PCL3, compound like PPR3 and PI3 you will get. So this this boron trifluoride it is in a gas form. It is also in the gas form, whereas bromide it is in the liquid, liquid and it is in a solid form. PL3 mm -hmm. it is in a solid form. So the re the this boron triflate or this sometimes this could also used to come for the arranging of reactivities and the melting and boiling point. So one thing you have to keep in mind is when the atomic mass increase when the atomic mass increase when atomic mass increase is VF will also increase yes right so this PF3 PCL3 PPR3 and PI3 this is the boiling boiling point and melting point order so these are the three types of uh, properties of group 13 elements group three types of properties of group 13 elements